Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna be reviewing this pink bubblegum bust down wig. Yeah, you could call me Nicki Minaj, but I go by Jada, okay? <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna be showing you guys how I got this color and how I installed it. It was really easy, so keep on watching if you guys are interested because your girl is feeling herself. So this wig was from Ashy Mary Hair. It came in blonde, 613. It was pretty easy to work with. It was a 13 by barely six <laughs> body wave um and honestly it fit comfortably on my head it was not too small and it was not too big so i can't even complain about that i really wanted to do more of a cotton candy look but i mixed neon in there and it gave me more of that hot pink i really wanted a lighter pink but you know what we move anyways this is really easy the watercolor adore dyes they're really easy to work with you just have to put them in hot water and just dip the hair and as you can see moving forward it's going to be really easy to work with just dip the hair in and make sure it's saturate saturated oh my gosh to the color that you want it but make sure you mix the dye out properly because it cl it's clumpy in there and if you don't get rid of all the clumps then you're going to literally physically see that on the hair but this is me using cotton candy and of course I did a strand test and as you can see the light pink strand was the color I was going for. I really do not know why I added neon to the mix because this was the color I really wanted. But we moved. Um, I did the entire wig in that color after adding neon and instantly, instantly it became vibrant. Like as you can see right here, like it was not playing like look at that all right cool but one thing i like about the adore colors is that you can easily get the color out and just change it to something else if you wanted to in the future and um the colors are pretty potent yeah so do not uh play around but yeah you guys can watch as i did this i pretty much made this sit in the water for about five minutes and then i washed it off with water not with shampoo guys please let's not be ridiculous and yeah it stayed on there and it didn't even transfer, so I was proud of this. So I'm gonna be applying the wig on my head right now. Um, one thing about it is it looks kind of thin, but it's not that thin. Like I think it was giving about like 150 to 180 density. And the length on this wasn't bad at all. I, I believe it was a 24, 26 inch uh, wig. So yeah, you really could do a lot with this. I really wanted to put some crimps in it, but I wanted to get bust down straight, okay? Your girl did not come to play. I really wanted to do it up because I have not done a pink wig in so long or a colored wig in so long, and I was so excited. Pink is my favorite color. Now, of course, I still had to cut around the ears just to give it a little bit more room around there, but yeah, everything was working out. I was kind of nervous in the beginning because I didn't know if it was really gonna lay how I wanted to because like I did not plug. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to y'all, this is the first time I feel like I have not really plucked or customized the wig because I really wanted it to give straight out the box and see what it was really given. Um, and I really didn't use like the real wig glues I normally use. I, I didn't wanna um, keep this on too long because I had work and I can't wear this to work. I would get fired. So I used something a little bit lighter that would come off with water. Uh, put the headband down because that's key. And then of course some mousse. My goal was to make sure that this wig was on flat, flat. We don't want any bulks around these parts, especially because it's colored, girl. What are we doing? We're trying to give celebrity Aragon Tate install realness, okay? So yeah, make sure that you're making it flat. I'm gonna go in and finesse a little bit, cut around the ears, make sure I'm cutting properly. And yeah, anything to make it look as natural as possible. Now, when I was cutting off the lace in the front, I was a little bit scared. Ooh, jump scare. 
because it was light like it was lighter than my skin but you know your girl are we've been finessing out in these shirts for so long so i wasn't worried but i was kind of like worried <laughs> Anyway, so I got rid of most of the lace and the goal to getting rid of this, as you guys will see towards the ending of the video, is I use a ton of foundation and color correction to make sure that I did not walk around here looking like I got Casper around my edges, okay? Yeah. I do think that something that would work out really well is if you had like a lace tint, like the Sally Henson lace tint spray. Any type of lace tint would work by spraying it on the lace even before you put the wig on. But me, I'm a lazy install queen. Like I wanna do what's quick and efficient for me. So it was easier for me to just use my makeup at the end. The flat comb is gonna be your best friend when it comes to new wigs. Y'all already know they need a little bit of training. They're not new to the, they're new to this, they're not true to this, okay? We're trying to we're trying to really incorporate techniques that are gonna work. I'm not gonna use water on this. Guys, this is watercolor, so you know I gotta go the extra mile to make sure everything is laying, slaying, and sitting right. Now you can still kind of see the lace, not kinda you can, but we're gonna move on and not not acknowledge her okay she really just did not want to go to bed um but for the edges i wasn't gonna do edges but i felt like at this point we gotta really do her up right so um the edges i felt like i could have done better but it's pink it's so weird i, I don't wear color so it's like looking at it it's kind of like girl this is pink like what are you doing while i was making it work you see me swooping them big ass baby hairs like everybody and their mom know this is not my hair like come on it's hot pink <laughs> And as you can see for the parting space, I put some brown on there and it's kind of looking like it's coming from my scalp. No? Yeah, no? No? Okay, cool. Alright, I got you. Girl, when I tell you that that headband, that lace band is going to be your best friend, I'm not exaggerating. Like, while you're straightening your hair, crimping your hair, curling your hair, whatever, you want to make sure that you have it on because it's going to really melt everything into the skin. Make sure that the lace is laying flat. Make sure that it's looking as natural as possible. So make sure not to neglect that step because it's really important. You can use a silk scarf or a headband or... Girl, come on, they got these in stores now. We have no excuse, it's like $3. But as you can see, the hair is like, it's straight, but honestly, it wasn't giving bone straight bust down, which I feel like it's gonna take a little time, but we're gonna get there, okay? Now, um, make sure you don't have a line on your makeup because when you use the bands, it takes your makeup with it. Like, girl, bye. Um, but I'm liking how it looks so far. Like, I'm not mad at it at all. Like, I really could get away with this like she's giving what needs to be given guys 
Honestly, I would definitely cop another 613 wigs from Ashy Mary because they did not really disappoint me, okay? Um, if you guys want to check it out, link is going to be in my description box. Make sure to give me a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe and share this with a friend. Um, I'm really feeling myself with this one. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video.